Welcome back to Ask Allison. Here's today's question. You once said there's no better job than private practice for parents. I want to hear more about that. Absolutely happy to oblige about that. Okay, first though, I want to thank Therapy Notes. They are the number one rated electronic health record system available today with live telephone support seven days a week. It's clear why Therapy Notes is rated 4.9 out of five stars on Trustpilot and has a five-star rating on Google. Therapy Notes makes billing, scheduling, note-taking, and telehealth incredibly easy. And all you prescribers out there, they also offer e-prescribe. If you're coming from another EHR, Therapy Notes makes the transition incredibly easy, importing your demographic data free of charge so you can get going right away. Find out what more than 100,000 mental health professionals already know. Use promo code ABUNDANT at therapynotes.com for two free months. All right, so I will say I am a biological mom, um, and that's the perspective I'm going to share from, but this is also going to apply to you if you are not a biological mom. Um, it applies to dads, adoptive parents, foster parents, step parents, grandparents who are primary caretakers, et cetera. So if you are in charge of taking care of a child, I am talking to you. Uh, I am going to contrast this to my former coworker's experience as a mom in the agency we worked in. So my coworker got six weeks of paid maternity leave because she saved up six weeks of PTO. Um we were Americans. <laughs> we don't take a lot of vacation. I found not nearly as much as we should and not to the same extent that a lot of our peers from other places do. Um, so she had six weeks of paid maternity leave because she saved up, the, up that PTO. She returned to work and she was able to pump in the privacy of her office, which was great, but she didn't have control of her schedule. So there were a few instances, many instances actually of leaking, of aching breasts, her supply dropped. Um, I know she got clogged ducts. I don't remember if it um, went further than that, but it was, it was hard. So also not all daycares allowed babies that young. Um, if you have ever searched for daycare, you know that you basically have to get on the wait, wait list pre-gestation in order to get a spot. And she had to pay a nanny while she waited on wait lists. And if you've ever had a full-time nanny, you know that's taking up at least half, maybe more of your agency pay paycheck because kids are very expensive. So uh, later on, as her kids got older, if she wanted to attend a field trip or a class party, she needed to ask permission from her supervisors at least two weeks ahead of time using the approved paperwork. It needed to coincide with a slower time and the typical flow of clients. Um, her productivity may be evaluated prior to approval, and it would reflect on her annual leave or her annual review and did when she took time off, even though it was paid uh, because she'd saved up the time. So I'll say that summers were very stressful for her. Few camps began earlier than she had to be at work and they ended and few ended later than she got off work. Uh, she had to take PTO to transport her kids to and from camps once they were old enough to go to camp. And this is a very typical experience for working parents um, that work for other people, at least. So this is not specific to the counseling field. Any working parent is like, yeah, yeah, what else? Um, now, I was already in private practice when I had my first daughter. Uh, and even living in the very expensive city of Seattle, which is an amazing place, I was able to save up enough money to take a 12-week maternity leave, plus some cushion, just in case. Uh, I didn't know that you had to get on daycare waiting lists when you first started thinking about having a baby, so I also had to go the nanny route. And I'm really glad because um, our 20-year-old nanny cost $5 less per hour than I made in my highest paying agency job. So like for reference, um, I altered my schedule to allow for pumping breaks at the times that my body needed them. And as that shifted over time, I altered my schedule again. Nobody questioned me or got upset about it. I also switched my schedule around. My partner had Mondays off, so I worked then and we didn't have to pay a nanny. I left my office earlier in the day so that I could relieve the nanny on the other days. I saw clients that I loved working with, so I had the energy for my family when I came home. I would start the day whenever made the most sense. Nine o'clock was much better for me for a while. Previously, eight o'clock was my time. Um, but that first year, nine o'clock felt much better. I didn't have to ask permission or fill out paperwork to attend field trips or attend class parties as they got older. I could say at the end of session, could you meet Tuesday at two instead of Monday at one? 
in order to make it happen. Uh, I made way more money per hour, more than five times as much per hour. So I was able to really prioritize the phase of life I was in instead of bending to the will of a boss who was looking exclusively at the numbers I brought in instead of my current life situation. Now I'm a parent of elementary school kids. Well, one is about to start middle school, which is wild. Um, and I have absolutely no idea how someone working 40 hours a week manages everything without just keeling over, especially in a job as hard as ours. So I say all this being in private practice as a parent, um, like it's the best way to do it. It really is. I've been so lucky that both of my kids were born while I was self-employed. I didn't have to manage all the stress of parenting plus 40 hours a week in a job. Um, and if this sounds good to you, if this is what you want for your family or your future family, but you don't know how to start and fill a practice, that is, that's what I do in the Abundance Party. It is priced for people making lower wages and agencies because you shouldn't have to have thousands of dollars lying around in order to get the help that you need. Today's free worksheet is a chart of the differences in parenting while working in an agency versus parenting in private practice. You can DM me the word sheets, like the word worksheet, um, and I will send you the link to this and all the free worksheets. It may be helpful for some extra motivation or to guide conversations with your partner about how private practice as a world <laughs> makes parenting easier. I'll also say as a parent of a kid who's had chronic health conditions, it has been an absolute blessing to be able to make time for the appointments that she needed in order to get her needs met. And that would not, I would have gotten fired from a job, honestly, during the ages of four and six for her because she had appointments every day. So I highly recommend private practice, as you may know. Um, but these are a few reasons. And I hope that it helps you feel more confident if this is something you're considering as a parent, or if you're considering private practice and you want to be a parent, know that these things work very, very well together. All right. Have a great day.